are now announcing today that in 15 public schools in Brooklyn, we will be instituting Meatless Mondays. But I'd like to add some uh, personal commitment to this. So I'm here to announce that at Gracie Mansion, we are now going to be instituting Meatless Mondays as well. We're starting a new habit, and it's something I'm really looking forward to. There is a climate crisis, and the decisions we make have an impact on that crisis, the obesity crisis. Both of these crises can be meaningfully addressed by adopting more of a plant-based diet. The mayor sat down with students today, telling them a plant-based diet makes for healthier humans and a healthier planet. Meatless Mondays are a wolf in sheep's clothing. Under the guise of what we've been told our entire lives, that fruits and vegetables are good for you, grains are heart healthy, this is what the USDA dietary guidelines have been shoving down our throat since 1979. This plant-based way of eating is going to be their way of repackaging this BS to continue to line their pockets and ruin the health of Americans, starting with New York. I guess de Blasio must have got cut a nice fat check from Big Broccoli. And how are we blaming meat for this? Kids eat cereal for breakfast, a plate of grains and vegetables for lunch, at best maybe a deli sandwich with some meat on it, and you think they're having steak for dinner? Yeah, right. We know that plant-based foods are missing key vitamins that are important for nourishing children. Most people will recognize this as protein, vitamin B12, iron, but the main focus of my YouTube channel is to make people aware of the other vitamins present in these animal foods. The fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, K2 as well as omega-3 fatty acids. In the United States, more than one in four children lack calcium, magnesium and vitamin A and more than one in two children being deficient in vitamin D and E. Yet we are removing the only part of the meal that contains these vitamins? Look at the bags under this poor girl's eyes. We are being brainwashed that being unhealthy is normal. These innocent children are being convinced that a plant-based diet is healthy for them. Yet in reality, it's going to continue to deteriorate their health over the course of their entire life. Reduce the risk of heart disease, of cardiovascular disease, of diabetes and cancer. It's going to reduce the risk of heart disease, cardiovascular disease, diabetes and cancer. These are children that need vitamins to develop properly. Would you deprive babies of breast milk because it contains saturated fat and cholesterol in it? How the hell are you blaming meat for anything? when only 10% of the calories in a standard American diet come from meat. For those who scoff at this notion, I have some simple advice. Look at the science. Staten Island Borough President James Odo said, look at the data, look at the childhood obesity, look at pre-diabetes diagnoses, look at the fact that 65% of American kids aged 12 to 14 show signs of early cholesterol disease. Then, perhaps you will embrace the fact that we can't keep doing things the same way, including welcoming the idea of Meatless Mondays. I think this is comical considering the meat that these children are eating on Mondays is high omega-6 grain-fed chicken crap that's breaded and deep fried in oxidized soybean oil. Yet they are saying that these kids are showing early signs of cholesterol disease due to meat. This meat is bad propaganda being pushed is like beating someone with a bat and then convincing them that they should support anti-gun legislation. Unfortunately, unless you literally spell things out for people, they don't realize it. You know what else is comical? The idea that plant-based diets have an impact on the environment in a positive way. As we can see by this chart, Avoiding one transatlantic flight is the equivalent of two plant-based dieters. Having one fewer child is more than 60 times more effective than following a plant-based diet. 
If you drive a car and you're plant-based, you probably shouldn't be talking about the environment. But hey, we're not going to hear de Blasio say, stop having children, are we? Now you could have a couple theories as to why they're pushing plant-based is good for the environment. Maybe they want to further the decline of health of people in general by removing more meat from their diet. One other thing is that it is a distraction from the real problem with the environment. Industrial agriculture, intensive monoculture, growing the same crop over and over and over again depletes the soil, leaves it vulnerable to erosion, chemical fertilizer runoff, and feedlot operations add to global warming emissions. Herbicides, insecticides, harm wildlife, ruin ecosystems, and they are also a human health risk. The real way to improve your health and support the environment is to buy food from local farms. Stop going to supermarkets, put your money where your mouth is, and buy animal and plant products that have been grown in an environmentally sustainable way. But hey, you'll never hear the mayor say that either. We are at a point in time when people are starting to realize in the general public that carbohydrates, especially sugar, are the major drive in America's health issues. It's hard to see much health benefit in these new lunch offerings on Monday when it's pasta, meatless tacos, grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't think this is going to make any significant difference in these children's lives on an individual meal basis. Heck, they were probably not eating meat in the first place and they might even feel better without these chicken nuggets deep fried in soybean oil. I'm actually all for this 100% considering what they usually feed these children but this leads us to the bigger issue here the lack of quality animal foods and not even just quality animal foods like wild caught fish, pasture raised eggs, grass fed meats. This is a lack of any animal foods in these children's diets. Everyone's diet in the United States. Another reason I am a fan of this happening is because of what is going to happen long term. You can only drink the plant-based and vegan Kool-Aid for so long until your teeth start rotting out, you start getting neurocognitive problems from B12 deficiency, you start getting gut, intestinal, digestive issues. You can make everyone sick, put everyone on medication, and make out like a bandit. You can make plenty of money doing that ruining the health of people slowly. But if you debilitate people to the point where they can't work and function, you're going to lose. The basis for this is that the majority of worldwide hunter-gatherer societies derived 55% to 65% of their energy from animal foods. We aren't at even half of that on a standard American diet. Doubling, even tripling, our meat consumption would make us far healthier than we are now. So what do you say, boys and girls? Let's educate everyone on the importance of meat through Meat Only Mondays. Have meat for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Have meat for snacks, jerky, whatever you want. Triple your meat consumption to increase the nutrient density in your diet. These fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, K2, these nutrients we are missing, Make people aware of the benefits of consuming animal products. Hashtag meat only Mondays. This may be a step in the right direction, but it's just the tip of the iceberg when you start considering other lifestyle factors, such as lack of sun exposure, exercise, poor quality water consumption, sleep, stress. As soon as you bring all of these factors up and then Consider the appeal to authority and how everyone believes what they've been told their entire lives. It becomes blatantly obvious why people don't find their true health. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, share the video if you can. Down below in the comments is my Amazon shop where you will find a bunch of nutrient-dense products that you can incorporate into your daily life. There's also my Patreon. I do have exclusive videos on there. And if you do want personalized question support, Patreon is a great way to support the channel as well as get your questions answered. Down below is also my website, frank stefanocom where you can reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations in regards to improving your overall health. In addition to that, I do have some hygiene and cosmetic products on my website, ranging from lip balm to deodorant, 
fluoride free tooth powder, things like that. I'm on Twitter guys, I'm on Instagram. Definitely some fun stuff that I post on social media for you guys. And last but not least, enjoy the rest of your week.